Giving birth is probably one of the most surreal experiences I have ever been through. From the moment I found out I was pregnant to that very first contraction and pushing out my son, it was a process of surrendering to God. It was realizing that He creates life and what a miraculous gift that is. Here's my story. I was on my way to Target when my first set of contractions hit. I knew these were labor contractions because I had felt contractions before, but they always were spurred on by something else. These came out of nowhere, and once they happened uh, once or twice back to back, I knew this time was different. So I proceeded to still go to Target. I was shopping, looking for um, something to wear during postpartum. The contractions were coming. They weren't so bad that I, I couldn't uh, continue with shopping. There were a few times where it felt better just to stay still. But on the way home, I texted my doulas and I let them know that I was feeling contractions. And when I finally got home, I called one of them and told them that I was going to probably just put on a movie and ride out the contractions as long as I could. You're coming, man. Here you come. It's so, time. It may be time. We are having contractions on July 15th. It's 1.30 a.m. and the contractions started PM. Uh, PM. Pregnancy. Contraction started like one, like eleven fifty, I would say, maybe like eleven thirty. So, yeah, just wanted to document the beginning. Here we go. Here we go. They told me you need to call the midwife and let her know because previously that week I had went to my midwife appointment and they told me that I was four centimeters dilated already. She said because you were so far along earlier in the week you should probably call the midwife and see what she wants you to do. So I call the midwife, she tells me to come in and I do. And when I get there, I was 10 centimeters dilated. She asked me, do you not feel pressure? Do you feel anything? And I didn't. Um, she said, okay, well, you're 10 centimeters and we're just waiting for you to be ready to push. It was game time. I called all of my family. I let them all know I was in labor. During that time, it all kind of is a blur, but I just remember praying. I remember listening to scripture just trying to focus my mind on remembering that god was with me and breathing and breathing and breathing so from the time that i found out that i was 10 centimeters to the time that the birth pool was filled up and i was pushing was about an hour eventually i was in the water ready to push my body was taking over doing it for me about an hour later my son was born my water never broke and my son was born in the sack, I think it's called. He was born in call and I think that allowed the contractions to be a little more bearable. I don't know, I've never had my water break and I've never experienced what labor is like uh, when it does break. So I don't know the difference, but at least from what I can gather, pushing and him coming down the birth canal maybe felt a little bit different because my water never broke. But that is the quick story of my birth. It was a crazy adventure, a wild experience to birth another human being. One of my biggest takeaways from this was the fact that every single thing that happened I had prayed for previously from the time that I found out I was pregnant. I was actually very terrified of labor and it's something that really gave me anxiety when I thought about it. I think surrendering all of those fears really early on to the Lord and not only surrendering those fears but praying specifically for specific things asking God, you know, I really want a short labor. I really want um, to be able to remain calm during my labor. I really want a risk-free pregnancy and a risk-free labor because I was delivering at a birth center and that was one of my biggest fears was that 
I would have to be transferred for whatever reason. And so I prayed specifically for that. I prayed that when I got to the hospital or um, the birth center that I was, I, I wanted to be like six centimeters um, and turns out I was 10. So I prayed very specifically as a way to combat anxiety, as a way to not let my fear dictate how I felt. I just surrendered it to the Lord. And you know what? I also said, not my will, but yours be done. And I think doing that allowed me to be okay with whatever circumstances happened, whether or not I had a short labor or I was dilated to 10 centimeters. Praying, not my will, but yours be done, allowed me to rest in the fact that his will was going to be done regardless. So that's my birth story. I'm thankful for it all. I'm thankful for my son and how he came into this world. And here he is, the little cutie himself. See, subscribe to see more of me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ow.